Japan Airlines flight has caught fire on the runway at Tokyo's Haneda Airport. Ongoing live pictures for you, extraordinary pictures uh, that uh, we've been witnessing over the last half an hour or so. Well, a spokesperson for the airline said the aircraft, which had come from an airport in Hokkaido, uh, which served the Sapporo era, area in northern Japan, uh, uh, had originated from there, and that all 379 people on board, that's 367 passengers and 12 crew members, uh, were evacuated. Uh, let's give you a little bit more detail about what we do know uh, that has happened. Uh, the country's Coast Guard said they were looking at the possibility that one of its planes crashed into the plane, thought to be uh, on the runway. Uh, we do now know that uh, this is expected to be JAL Flight 516 from the uh, Sapporo Airport in Haikado, as I said. It's about an hour and a 40 minutes flight uh, from uh, uh, there to Tokyo, uh, from the north uh, of Tokyo down to the south to where Tokyo uh, is. And uh, a former BA pilot talking to Kay last hour saying uh, that the crew had done an extraordinary good job to get everyone off. We are awaiting further updates from the Coast Guard uh, uh, to have them confirmed as to the status of the believed six passengers on board that smaller plane. Let's bring in uh, Tim Atkinson, who is uh, an aviation uh, consultant uh, and uh, a pilot himself. And Tim, ju just to recapture what we've learned in the headlines from it, it, it seems that the fire began once the plane had landed and clearly has spiralled since then, the status of it now, as we look at it, makes it all the more remarkable that the 379 passengers on the Japan Airlines flight, at least, uh, were evacuated. Yes, uh, my perception from the limited information available so far is that the fire began at the moment of the collision between the two aircraft. Um, and, you know, caused by the, the forces involved, probably the release of fuel involved at the time. Um, and uh, the uh, fire is now clearly, uh, if, if these are live images that we're watching, and I suspect they may be just a, a little older than that, the fire has completely taken hold of the aircraft structure. It's a composite structure, so it burns in a, a different way to the way a metal structure would burn. Um, and having dealt with um, composite aircraft, which have been very well and truly alight as this one is, one is left with you know a, a pile of fibres and, and ash at the end of it. Um, there are obviously some very high temperatures involved here. Um, I suspect that there is fuel burning there, although that that is conjecture rather than rather than fact. Um, uh, and really, you know, as a as an accident investigator, my focus is on what happened much longer ago. Um, uh, on how the two aircraft came to collide, and the moments up until all those who could be saved were saved. Um, you know, it, it's clearly, if reports are correct, that everybody uh, evacuated this aircraft successfully, um, then that is, that is fabulous news. Uh, it'll be important for investigators to look into how and why that was achieved, especially in the challenging circumstances. Um, I, I mentioned that when we still had visibility of the um, uh, escape door. In fact, you can just see it now, just uh, where the um, fall of firefighting media, we're just losing it from the frame there. That, that was the uh, escape door just forward of the wing on the left-hand side of the aircraft, which was clearly closed. Um, in an evacuation, ideally, you want all of the exits open, you want all of the slides to deploy normally, you want everyone to get down the slides rapidly. Uh, it appears to me that door was not used in the evacuation, so that's, e that's even more remarkable. Uh, it is something people train for, but, but you know, it, it makes the probability of getting everyone out less likely. And certainly the images uh, I've seen of the moments immediately after the collision uh, indicate that the fire as it started was not insignificant. Um, you know, that there was clearly proper burning going on, if I can use those terms, um, from the moment of collision onwards. Uh, and in this context, uh, it, it's, it's enormously um, uh, heartening to see that everybody uh, reportedly at the moment uh, has got out of this aircraft 